Welcome to another video where we're learning about Microsoft Word and word processors and we are going to focus in this video on how to find and replace lots of information very quickly. So we have a Word document with some random text in it, some random text, so we're going to try to find information. Now the quickest way to find information, find specific things, you can press Control F and then this toolbar or this menu on the left hand side will appear where you can find things. If I press Control F see there we go so there we go so we got like lovely little options we can search in on particular pages or headings so if i wanted to search for the word video we can see that it definitely is a word video if i type in video it'll show me all the occurrences of that word and i can go throughout the document and just click on them and it'll take me to those particular ones it even highlights them i can see on the pages which pages they look like and i can see if there were headings if they were on headings so there we go that's a nice little way to just find information but what happens if i want to change those particular files maybe i want to change the words video to be in a particular color or i want it to be underlined so if that was the case, or, or, or change it to a completely different word, um, I want to change video, we don't have video, we want to say DVD for example, but I only want to change the, the ones that start with the capital V, I want them to change. So how do I do that? Well, let's close that. And we can come over here to the editing options of finding, which is what we just did, or replacing. I want to click on the replace option now. So I'm going to click on the replace option, and I've selected video, so you can see it says search for video, and replace it with for example dvd now if i go and click on replace all it will basically replace every word that's called video even the ones with small letters okay that's not what i want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to there are more options available for us so we can say i want to make sure that we match the case in other words it must be a capital v not a small v Okay, so there's a one option. So if I do that and I go replace, you can, you can click on the replace button to go do each one individually. So there we go. That's the one that I want to replace. If I click on it, do you see how it changed to DVD? And now it's moved to that one. If I click on replace, it's changed that one. Now it's moved all the way down here. You'll notice that it skipped a whole bunch of other videos. I think there's a whole bunch of other words. Video, there's video there. It skipped it. Why? Because we're matching the case. It must match a capital V R D E O. So if I click on replace all now, it will go and replace all the occurrences. There are 12 more from the beginning to the end and say yes. Uh, and so on. So there we go. All replacements we've done. And I can close all those all those DVDs. Oh, now there, there's no more videos with a capital V. Now, what happens if I want to change the word, for example, you? So if I'm going to go say, let's go replace all the words that start with the U. Just type in the word U. Let's type in U. And we want to change that to a different we want to actually change the format of it. I want to change it to a capital U like that. So I want to change small U's like that. I don't want to match case, so let's leave it like that. So I want any small, like I don't care if it's capitals or not, we want to change that. The problem with that, if you look over here, if we look at our document, it's going to, do you see that your? You see there's the word U in it, but there's, there's R. I don't want it to be capital U with an R there. And I don't want your to change. I just want to U. In that case, we must match find the whole words only we just want to find that whole word only please we don't want to do the like, like yours and that stuff like that. i don't want half of it to be in capitals and so on and you can do all these little options over here so for example let's do that so i'm going to replace let's see what it does the first one there's you yes replace it replace it yes and then we can go replace all there were 93 replacements okay that's probably because there are a lot of them or 114 uh, 12 i think they're in the total and if i come there do you see the your hasn't been affected where the U has. Now, if I, I don't know if I can, I, I'm going to undo everything and do it again, but without the match, the, find the whole words. If I do it that way, you'll notice that there's a whole lot of more words that were replaced in total, actually 166 in total. And you can see that there, there's some, a couple of, see, that looks a bit funny. I don't like how that looks. That's why I said it must match or be the whole words only. As in the previous example, we said match case. So you want specific ones. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, you see there's, there's a couple of words that are in red and are bold. Okay, so what happens if I just, there are lots of the word word. If I go to control F and search for the word word, you'll notice there are tons of words called the word word. But there's only a couple of them that have got red text and that are bold. What happens if I want to change just them? Okay, well, let's do that. Let's go replace. Let's go and we're going to take, okay, I want to take the word the word word and I want to change it to the word Microsoft 
word. But I only want the ones that are in red. So you can click on what you are looking for. And you can change the format. And you can say, okay, this is going to find all the words. But I want to find all the words that say word that are. And we can find the particular font or the particular style. So if I say font, all those where the font color is red and that are bold. And by doing that, it's looking for anything that's bold and not underlined color. Oh, I did that wrong. Not underlined color. So not that color. Sorry automatic we want the actual font color to be red so there we go so that's what i wanted so anything like that now it's still yeah it's still got auto for the unlined color we're not too worried about that we can actually if you click on it you can actually say no formatting to get rid of the formatting and then you can go and do it again if you want to do it again properly i'm gonna do it again properly this time there we go there we go so that's how you can clear it and that's going to replace all the the red words that are bold to Microsoft Word. But what happens if I want the Microsoft Word to be in blue when it does the replacement? Well, then I click on this one. And now when I change the formatting, it will affect here. You can see at the moment there they've listed the formatting for that, for what you are looking for. Now here's the format for what we want to replace it with. So we can even replace the formatting of it. So we want to change this to be italics, bold, with a blue text if you wanted to and you could even change for example you could change the paragraph of it the tabs the style all those types of options so you can do that so if i do that and say replace all there were four replacements so if i go around and go close you'll see all the microsoft words there's no more red but you can see the blue that's been put in its place so there were four i did change four words to be red in bold and there you can see it Okay, so what happens, there are lots of other options as well. If I go find, replace, I could, for example, I'm going to clear formatting on all this. I'm going to get rid of all of these, clear formatting. I'm going to change. Maybe you want to look for a particular character. You can click under special and say, I want to look for all the, uh, any digit or you got all these options. Maybe a white space. Maybe you've got an M dash or an M, an N dash. Maybe a column break. Maybe a, the special character that you want to replace. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of section breaks you want to get rid of. You can type that in and say replace it with nothing, which means it'll get rid of all the section breaks. So let's try that quickly. Let's go and check. I'm going to over here. I'm going to go and say insert a section break. That's under, I think it's under layout over here. If we go to layout, we are going to put in a section break there. And I'm going to put another section break in there. And then I'm going to put another one over here. So I've put in all these little section breaks. Now, if I come here to find replace, we want to replace all of the, let's clear the formatting, no formatting there. We want to replace all of the section breaks. There's the section breaks. There we go. All the section breaks we want to replace with nothing. No formatting there. So replace section breaks with nothing. Replace all. We made three replacements. Close. And there we go. You can see all your, your text is together again. There's no more section breaks. That's how you can do something very quickly. If you want to replace something, maybe you've got a particular name in a file and you say, John has always done this duty. And you can write John's name all over the document. And then next year, John leaves and we've got to change John's name because there's a new person and that's Dale. So we can change Dale. You can go find all the recurrences of John's name and replace it with the word Dale. So this is a very useful tool for replacing lots or multiple things in your Word document. Just remember the biggest tip is when you are doing that replacement, remember to look at what the formatting is. Where the cursor is at that particular point, then you can change the formatting of it. Exactly, I want to search for all the red ones. And then when you click on the replace, then you can edit the formatting for what it must change to. So that's a little trick for it. Check out the video description for links to other videos in Microsoft Word, as well as clicking on the playlist tab for more options there. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.